Okay, welcome back, part three. Like I said, we're going to continue with our web page, and we're going to do our style sheet. And I'm going to explain how that works and then as we go. So we're going to open up a new page uh, on the top here. Uh, we don't have to add any titles or meta tags or HTML tags to a style sheet. You just start your style sheet, and, and that's all. So all we do is we put in here... Um, body uh, now body is a if you go to your other page go to your index page right click open this with notepad uh, now body is the main body you don't have to put anything in here uh, you just put body on your CSS style sheet like this, and then you, we're going to use your opening and closing tags are what they call squirrely brackets, which are right above your enter key on your keyboard, I believe. There's uh, two buttons, one with a square bracket, and above it is a little squirrely bracket. Uh, same thing, two next to each other, opening and closing. You're going to use your squirrely brackets for CSS. And body, we're just going to put in here uh, background, color, uh, colon. Uh, we'll just put in green for now, and then semicolon, and again your curly brackets, shift in your curly brackets, and that's how we do CSS. So for now, we're going to save this. So we have a file created, and you can name this anything you want. Uh, you may end up with. Um, one or two or three uh, CSS style sheets. Uh, you can name it anything you want. To keep it simple, we're just going to name this style.css. Click Save. Uh, desktop, yeah, we're on a desktop still. We click Save. And then what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this, we're gonna minimize this, and we're gonna minimize that. And then here we have our CSS style sheet. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag this up and put it in our file. And now we have two pages. So to continue with your CSS, just to finish our tags for our index page, this is important. See how I have two open here that both say my web page? That's both my file. What I did is I opened one. I'm going to show you how that happens. What happens is you come here, you open your web page, uh, you minimize it, and say there's something else in here you want instead of coming down here to this. Uh, you double click on here and you end up with another one. Uh, be careful of doing that. You don't want this to happen. What happens sometimes when you do this, especially if you do it with index or one of your pages. Um, if you're here, you go to index and you open up another page this is very important because if you minimize this what happens is if you're working on one index page and you change something you add something to your code you come up here and hit save and then you go to your browser to try and view that uh, a lot of times you you'll run into a problem where it's not going to make the changes so you come up here you make changes to here you add something add a picture add a paragraph, whatever you want, you come up here, you hit save, you hit minimize, and then uh, you come to your web page, and then you click on index to view your changes. Uh, a lot of times, let's see, we have our green background now, we have something entered in there. Uh, a lot of times, what's going to happen is your changes aren't going to take effect because the browser is confused, because you have two index files open, and they say different things. One's got your new add-on to it whatever you edited, changed, added to it, but the other one doesn't. So you've got to be very careful about having multiple pages open like this. So, we're going to close a couple of these. It's just a word of warning. Um, if you're adding stuff to your index page, or you're adding stuff to your CSS style sheet, and then you go to look at your web page and nothing's happening and then you go back and you're trying to find a mistake and you can't find nothing you go back to your web page nothing's changing uh, look down here 
and make sure you don't have multiple files of the same thing open. Very important. Uh, if you're doing things and you go to your web page, your browser, and changes aren't taking effect, one thing you can do is just come down here, close everything, and then start again. Close your all your pages that you have open. Close your my web page file. Uh, close your browser, everything, and then go to the browser and try it again. Sometimes that helps. But you'll see that we'll run into that problem, and I'll, I'll show you again as we go. All right, so we're on our index page and our CSS style sheet. Now, one thing we're going to do here, um, okay, I just wanted to go get a code that I forgot to copy that we're going to need here. Uh, one thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to our style sheet and we put in our body background color. Um, then next what we're going to do is I'm just going to do the same thing we did with the web page. I'll get all your code set up here. What we're going to do here is we're going to use the pound sign, wrap, and then opening curly brackets. Uh, your wrap you're going to put in a border, space, style, colon, and then solid semicolon and then end now if you notice how when I go along I do my opening brackets and then I do my code and then I do my closing brackets that's kind of a bad habit what you want really want to do and it's a good habit for beginners to uh, do this right from the start um, when you put in your your codes you do a head opening brackets and then your closing brackets it's a good habit to get into this doing your opening and closing brackets at the same time um, the way I do it you forget to do a closing bracket once in a while and then you go to look at your web page and something's all messed up it doesn't look right and then you have to come back here and find what you missed so it's a good habit to do your opening and closing brackets at the same time, so even with your web page on the index, like we did our HTML tag at the top, and we did our HTML tags at the bottom, I just closed that page by accident. Uh, we did our HTML tag here, and then we put it on the bottom, and then we did our title, and did our closing title. It's just a good habit to get into doing your opening and closing tags at the same time. And then come back up here to head. And we're going to actually just put our tags in for now. And then after head, we have main. Uh, and I leave a space here. You don't have to. It's up to you. I just do it from habit. Uh, and then I put the closing brackets down here. It just makes it nice and neat, especially because this page is going to get pretty long and pretty fast, as you'll see. There's going to be a lot of information on this page. And I'll explain everything about it in a minute, how it works, why you do it this way, stuff like that. But this is just how I do it. You can do it any way you want. You can put... Uh, you can put this here. You can put this here. Put whatever code you want in between. Come down to the next line, however you want to do it. It's up to you. Uh, it's just a habit to leave a space and put that on the second line. It's just how I do it. It's a preference. You can do it any way you want. And then after main, we're going to have, uh, we're going to do dot column one and then the same thing a dot column two Oop, long bracket and be careful sometimes you don't hit the shift button just right you'll end up with a square bracket and that will also mess up your code when you go to your page And then dot, I use three columns, so I'm going to have column three. And 
And then down after that, we're going to have... After that, we're just going to end with our footer. And that's going to be a dollar sign, footer, and your brackets. And that's going to be it for your main part of the CSS. So everything here, body, your brackets, wrap, your brackets, header, main, column one, two, three, and footer. And just save this. If you come to your index page, uh, it's all the same. Your header, give ID header, main, column one, column two, column three, and footer. And what this is going to do, this is your, what they, it's called the style sheet for a reason, because this is where you're going to put all your style codes in, your background color, uh, your font size, your font color, all these things like that you're going to put in here on your style sheet. And the reason you do it this way with a style sheet is because if you do a style sheet like this, a separate sheet from your index, then when you go to another page, when you go back to your main page, and you put other files in here, uh, say you want to do, say you want to do a page that says contact me so people can send you an email and talk to you, notify you, something's not working, they have a question, a comment, something like that. So we're going to have a file name comment.html. So now you go in you create that file comment.html and we can actually do that just for a demonstration purpose. Minimize these. Go to your notebook and you would put in uh, your HTML tags, the title tags, uh, comment, or put in contact me if you want, whatever you want to call it, and then your end title, and then you would put in uh, head. Now actually on this one, the only thing that's going to go in your head is this one link here. You need to copy this. Or you'll remember it eventually after a while. Put it in a few times, you'll remember what it is. Copy this. Go back to this one. Paste. And then you would come down and do your end head. And then you would do body. Not as complicated as the index page. Uh, and then down here, oops, down here you would put your end body and your end HTML. And then there you go. That would be your full page. You come up here, you hit save. It's going to come up, and then down here you put in contact me, or just contact whatever you want, dot HTML, and you hit save, and you close this, and you contact HTML, put it in your file, and now you have a contact dot HTML. And so what that means is once you do your style sheet, once your style sheet's done, Anything that's on the style sheet that you add to your contact, just one click, right click, open to edit. Anything you add this link to, this link is going to reference it to your style sheet. So What's nice about this is instead of adding all this style sheet code that you're putting in your style sheet, instead of adding all this to every page in here, you could put in here body, background color green, uh, header background color red, uh, main column, uh, background color yellow, font size 5, uh, font color orange, instead of adding these codes to every single one of these headers and every single page you create on your web page instead of adding it to all these web pages you do one you do everything on one style sheet then you do your reference to that style sheet and it just makes your life a lot easier it just makes it shorter makes it easier stuff like that 
uh, when you end up with your file here, like mine, my web page file, I believe I got, I want to say I think I'm at 93 files all listed on this my web page folder. So I would have had to add all these style codes to each one of those pages all the way down. That gets a lot, of, a lot of extra writing and typing and time consuming stuff you have to do. So you do it on one style sheet. You put your reference on the page you want to use that style for. And that's all you have to do. So you don't have to add a code to every single one of these tags that are on here. You add your link, add something to your style sheet, and it goes on every page you create. So it's going to make life a lot easier. And you'll see more, you'll understand more about that in a minute. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to our style sheet. And we're going to put in here on the end, after column one, two, three. Actually, let's do column one. Uh, header, uh, head. Actually, I think that's supposed to be header. <coughs> yes, div ID header. You're going to be careful about this. Now, <coughs> the other thing here, uh, div IDs and your div classes, div ID header, uh, div ID class. When you're doing your style sheet, uh, first let's fix this. This is supposed to be header. Uh, if it's a div ID, you have to put your dollar sign before it. Uh, if, if it's a div ID class, you have to put a dot before it. So if it's a div ID header, you put a dollar sign. Uh, div ID class, you put a dot before it, or a period before it. Class, class, class. And then these are headers, div IDs, IDs and classes. So what we're going to do here, uh, the header, we're not going to put anything in for now. Uh, the main, we don't really put anything in there. There might be one or two things we put in there. Uh, actually, what we're going to do, we can do main. Main is just going to be uh, overflow, colon, auto, and uh, with semicolon, uh, 100%. Semicolon. And that's all you do for your main. Your overflow, what that does, Uh, when you go to your web page, what that does is people have different size screens, and not everybody uh, does a full screen. Sometimes your screens will be a little smaller, or sometimes they won't open the screen up all the way. And you see how it kind of squishes the columns together? Um, that's the overflow hidden. If you don't put overflow hidden, what will happen is as you move this over, um, these two columns will stay the same and this column will slowly disappear over here and these two columns will not change so you put overflow hidden and it kind of squishes them all a little bit evenly the same so you still you still can see one two three columns uh, if you didn't have the overflow hidden that wouldn't happen your columns would slowly disappear this column would disappear and then this column would disappear and then it just makes it harder to see so you got to put in div uh, main overflow auto and your width 100% because you want it to go the whole page, the whole width of the page. Uh, column 1 is kind of a lot of the same. Uh, same thing, overflow hidden. And we're going to do float left um, width we're going to do, well, just for now, we'll say 17%. And height auto. And that's it for column one. And what do we have here? We have our overflow. We just talked about float left. What that's going to do is when you open your web page, the column one. It's going to push it as far to the left as it can. It's going to bring it right up to the border. Width, that's the width of the column. You're going to see as we do our three columns, each one's going to have a width. Uh, 17, 54%, whatever the remainder of 100 is. You're going to have 100% between the three columns. So then, we come back here, column 2. And column 2 is going to be pretty much the same thing as column 1. So what I'm going to do, 
save a little time we're just going to do this we'll copy enter right click and we're going to paste the only thing we're going to change is we're going to change the percentage uh, let's make this I don't know, 54 you want your center column bigger than the rest if you want that's up to you and then on column 3 we're going to do the same thing I'm just going to right click and paste and we're going to change this 54 and 17 is 71 so the remainder is 29 so we're going to do this we're going to put in 29 uh, we may have to change these a little bit, make this a 28 or a 27, or make this a 53. Sometimes you need uh, 1 or 2 percent taken off of this uh, for your borders. You know, like I have a little line here that's like one pixel, and then I have a little gray area here. Uh, you're going to have to deduct for that for each side. So we might have to take 1 or 2 percent off. We'll see how it goes. And then this one we're going to change to float right because you want your column three to float all the way to the right and then you fill it with your middle column so that's those columns pretty simple uh, your footer not much on your footer you can put in a background color or something like that if you want background color uh, we'll just say green and that's it we'll save this Don't forget to save once in a while. You don't want to put in a whole bunch of work and then have something happen where you lose power, your computer turns off, and you lose all that work you have to do it all again. So remember, come up here and just click your save button once in a while as you're working. Now the only other thing we have to do here is I wanted to do these first because I wanted to explain these float, the float tag. Float left, float left, float right. When you go to your index page, at the bottom here, where you have your column three, and you end your div, and you're at the end of your main section here, and you have your extra div to close your main page. Let's just we can just put these together. Now, what you're going to do underneath here is, you, is you're going to put in. You have to clear the floats. You have floats left, float left, float right. You have to put in a code to clear that float. And what you have to do is you put in. Uh, here you put in a div ID equals clear and div and then you put in div ID equals clear fix and then end div. Uh, and these are just codes. It's a standard code that the browsers use to um, let the, let them know that the browser tell the browser that you're ending your columns, you're ending this main section, you're ending the floats. Uh, if you don't put this in, if you don't put your clear floats in, uh, what will happen is this column uh, will show up at the bottom of column two, or column one will show up at the bottom of column three and it won't align right. You have to clear your floats. Anytime you use a float tag in your style sheet, you have to use the clear, clear and clear fix. Now what you have to do is you have to go to your style sheet. Uh, you can put them here at the end of column 3 just to keep everything organized. And in here you put in uh, clear And then you do content uh, period quotation, and then you put your semicolon at the end, and then you put in display. Uh, what is it? Display a uh, block. Well, nope, actually, it's display inline block. 
and then that's it for that one uh, end your curly brackets and then you have to do the other one same thing clear fix and clear fix is the same content semicolon and then display block uh, height put in 0 px px in pixels and then you put in clear both and then your end brackets and I'll show you in a minute uh, why you have to put that in as I explained uh, if you don't put that in on your index page and your style sheet, um, you're going to have all kinds of problems with the way your page is set up. So, just to give you a demonstration, let's just put something in right here. Let's just put some writing. We're going to put in our P tags. P tag is paragraph. You put that between before uh, anything you're going to write. Whatever writing, any paragraph, or you want to just put one line of text, you put your P paragraph first. And then just put in anything. This is my web page. And then your end piece. Don't forget that. Anything you do, you have to end. Uh, column 2, do the same thing. We put in a P. This is harder than I thought. Uh, in column three, same thing, P. Now we actually put things in. We have a column one, we actually put some writing in. Column two, we put some writing in. Column three, we put some writing in. So now, if we save it, come back to my web page, uh, double click on your indexed. And now you see you got one, two, three. This is my web page. This is my this is harder than I thought. And this is a lot of work. Now these are all in one column. Uh, actually they shouldn't be. Let's find out why. Uh, we can just minimize this. We can minimize this. Uh, let's just look here, see if there's something we missed. New ID header. Just put in here my new store. And I put that on the title in the header because we're actually going to build a web page with that as the title to it. So we just put that on the header page. Uh, we can save this. Maybe I didn't save something here. Let me just save this index page. Style sheet, just hit save, make sure I save everything. Now let's go back to our web page and hit refresh. And it didn't change anything. So let's find out why. Uh, wrap, end, header, open end, open closed, open closed, open closed, open closed, open closed. Open closed, footer open closed. Right, let's see if there's something on our index page we missed. Body wrap. Here we go. This is why. Div ID clear. Uh, I forgot the closing bracket. It's your opening bracket. You get your closing bracket. And that's a perfect example. If you don't put these in, this is what happens. You'll end up with a straight line. So let's add our tag here. Oops. Clear. Add our closing tag. Make sure everything's good. See, one little thing like that, and it can it can be a 
a lot of work, especially if this page is really, really long and you have to go through the whole thing to find a little mistake like that. Now let's hit refresh and see what happens. anything else here you have to be very 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 careful about your opening and closing tags uh, it makes a big difference here okay uh, I found the problem the problem was uh, on my style sheet uh, come down here you just got to refix this where it says clear fix uh, colon uh, you have to put in after here and then your content so just uh, double check this here make sure this says exactly what mine says and make any changes you have to do and then hit save uh, I didn't have this word after in and that's why it wasn't putting them in order you come back to your web page and you can see up here you have your header and then column one column two uh, and column three and then you also have your black border around here that we put in uh, in a style sheet which is uh, at the top here under uh, wrap and that's where you get that black border around it so like I said you got to be very careful about code you enter um, you have your column one you notice the spaces here uh, that's because we have our different size, different sizes here. We have 17 percent, uh, 54 percent, uh, and 29 percent. So each column has a different width, and all your text for right now is all starting at the left-hand corner. So you have your left-hand corner here, and then you have a little bit of room here. So that gives you an idea of how much your middle column you have to work with, and then your third column starts here. Um, we can do, we're going to start styling this, make it look a little different, make it look a little better than that, uh, make it a little fancier than that. Uh, what, what, what we're going to do is uh, we'll take a break right now so you can double check everything, make sure all your stuff is working the way uh, it's supposed to be. Like I said, just make sure you uh, repair this code down here, make sure it says what I have here. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.